Just after my son's second birthday, we had to take him into hospital to do a serious blood test and the pediatrician were convinced that he's got a form of acute leukemia and so obviously that really shocked me, like really shocked me, so I just lost it. I literally had a panic attack and I loaded my child into the car and I just wanted to drive away because the spaces they put you in after giving you this bad news in hospital are usually quite cramped and not really nice so I think it made me really feel like I, I needed to get out of the hospital, I needed to get air. I went out the back of Durbanville because we were living in Durbanville at that stage and then I reached this one specific spot. It's really beautiful, it's just this open field and then you can see really far back in the background you can see Table Mountain and this beautiful sky. And I remember I looked at this landscape and I thought, you know, this is exactly what I needed. I needed just the space to breathe. And interestingly, I took a photo of that. And then I went back to face reality. I was really blessed. My son was cured. So we were really spared a lot of the, the trauma and the sadness around having a child that needs to get treatment for cancer. But interestingly, we moved into an apartment and my next door neighbor approached me and her grandson, Angus, is being treated for leukemia at Kritiski Hospital. And Angus started this idea when he uh, was getting treatment that he really felt like he needed to know the other children that's there with him in the same situation as he is in. His whole attitude is, how can I help these other kids and he is sick himself. And so he had this idea of having murals uh, or some form of art in the wards so that it can just be something nice to look at while they're undergoing these treatments. And they needed an artist to do the mural. And because I had, you know, I experienced something of what the parents and um, the children are going through, I decided to do the project and just donate my time. They asked me to do a mural painting at the entrance of the bone marrow transplant ward. That's basically where you wait for your loved one that's been treated for leukemia. So I had this mini obsession with butterflies, so I started drawing many, many butterflies. I don't know, I just found really a simple but beautiful symbolism in butterflies and that you go through a phase when it's not like you want it to be or it's not nice but then afterwards you have like a transformation and you can become something else and it's, it's been a very interesting project while I was doing the mural um, people would literally be coming out of the ward that are visiting their children or their loved ones and they're really emotionally drained and they'll literally walk past and give a sigh so it, it really ended up becoming a space where you actually feel that you can breathe or you can process or you can recharge you know that's really needed in this kind of environment we often say art can change things but it is really interesting how it physically can change the entire space and that's got an impact on the people that's using this space even the nurses and the staff even the doctors all are talking about this mural and now it's actually becoming an interesting um, yeah, breathing space.